Okay, you ready? I am going to do a little video on taking out the, the crunch from the True to Life material upstage wig style. And I want you to see exactly how not good this looks. See how fuzzy that is on the ends? And basically, this is from rubbing up against your collar. And it's too bad that it does that, but it does. And this is such a nice wig because of the cap design and the comfort of the cap. And this one happens to be a large size upstage where it has the, oop, it has the lace front. It has the nice lace front. This is an old wig, so I just told my client I would take the crunch out of it so that I could put it on YouTube. But um, hand tied back. All right, so when I go to do this, I've washed it. Um, and I hate to say, but my conditioning shampoo for washing a wig that hasn't been done in a while is Dawn. And I kind of put it in the dawn. I make sure that it's nice and clean. And then I condition it in a liquid conditioner. And I sprayed this. I used that Brandywine spray, Brandywine liquid conditioner. And then I sprayed it with their oil sheen. So that has a lot of oil sheen on it. And once I'm finished with the... Um, Look at, there's such crunch in there. My hands are being stuck on the ends. Um, after I'm done curling this, I'm going to wash it again with the Raquel Welsh shampoo and conditioner. So basically, I'm going to put this on backwards on my mannequin. So normally, this is how my mannequin would be. This is the front. I'm going to take the back of it and put it on backwards on this mannequin. And I've mentioned before in another video that if you can get these kind of mannequin heads from like hairdressing schools or, you know, if you do buy a mannequin like this and it has hair on it to just shave it off. But I have this going upside down. Because what I want to be able to do is take this nape and turn it under. So my curling iron, I've kind of combed it out. It's not really towel, towel, it's not really towel dried very much. I've already kind of pre-combed it out. This is an old um, tripod that I'm working with, so I should have grabbed a good one. My iron is on 350. I'm kind of like running it through here and I'm going to sort of curl it and just let it set there and you can kind of see that as you're doing it you can hear you can hear it sizzle but you try to get the crunch out as much as you can I kind of like move it over the crunch a little move the heat over the crunch a little bit and then turn it like I'm really setting a um, uh, curling iron in place so that it turns under in the nape and I don't know if you can see how that so see how that um, that's like soften it up watch you'll probably see it catch on fire no so I can see there's still crunch there so I'm going to go back into it and turn it under Kind of hold it there in place. Drunk. That's probably not helpful the way that light is shining there. Is that any better? Could be. Let's see how like this is like the worst part of it. So I really want this to get turned under. This is really bad, but it's going to look good when I'm done. So like the first go through sort of smooths it out a little bit. And then if you 
were to go have your hair set and it's your own hair, it uh, well for like a blow dry like this, we charge between thirty and you know thirty five forty dollars depending on how long your hair is for a blow dry. So if I was to do this for you know somebody in charge for it, I charge between fifty and seventy five dollars because it ultimately takes about an hour maybe longer to do it. So. That's why you can't, if you, if you do this a little bit, I mean, you don't want to do this every week when you wash your wig, but I think some of this happens, like if you do it with your heat too high and you're doing it at home yourself, you don't want to cut it off because what the heck, you'll be able to see that a lot of this will smooth out. And I'm just going to say, you know, doing this way, this procedure, and when I post it, I'm happy to report that the new True to Life material wigs I got in don't feel like these older ones at all. And the hard part about, um, the hard part about not buying into the true to life wigs is their color colors are really nice you know like I have a few clients that have tried all kinds of different companies you know shadow shade wigs on and they always come back to you know like this one I'm pretty sure it's a shadow shade 1422 might be the 1425, but I think it's a 1422. I never owned it at all. You know, I have called to.